far as the best tries go, we begin with Hufanga of Tanga. It's hard to believe that we're watching the same French team exposed against the Tongans. A great little chip all the way across the field, and Hufanga dots down, and that would be the difference France loses on the day. Yeah, Kurt Morath with the uh, chip, well done. Hufanga with the try, and then later on, a yellow card, but I'll cut him a break on this one. Number four, Paul Emrick of the United States. Well, anticipation here, he reads it so well, Emrick does, and then he just intercepts, goes the distance, and this is the final play of the game for the United States. This is less about the greatness of this try and more about the story of how the U.S. played Ireland. And a great way to cap off that story on 9-11 and uh, down 22-3. to And Paul, with the try, you know what, 22-10 makes it look a lot better, makes it feel a lot better. Absolutely, and a big salute to the troops on this very emotional 9-11. Number three on the countdown, Ben McCallum of Australia. Well, this is a great team try, and once again, it starts with a chip kick outside, and Radike Samo playing wing for the Australians, collects it, manages to stay in bounds, and passes the ball, sets off a string of support runners. Looks like Quade Cooper could just go ahead, dot it down, but then he gives it to McCallum and finishes off in grand style. The thing that impressed me most is how many big one-handed offloads can Australia do in that sequence. Number two in our countdown, James Arledge of Japan. Well, this could be the luckiest try of the tournament. Where does the ball go here? It's hard to see from this angle. Arledge is trying to chip it through. It bounces off a French foot, comes back to his hand so fortuitously, and over for the try. Japan, a great job on the day for them. Arledge, man of the match in this one. Two tries, a conversion, two penalty goals. Got 34 points in three matches and uh, really put a charge into uh, France in that contest. Yeah, great moment for Japan. Not a great tournament for them. If you like that. You'll love this. Number one on our list, it's Richard Kahui of New Zealand. Well, it's Sonny Bill starts out with a great no-look behind the back switch pass. Goes to Toyeva, a little cut inside from Kahui, and he dots down. And you got to wonder, Bill, where is the flair today when they need it? Yeah, Sonny Bill's uh, on the bench, and look at him here, almost like he's pulling a buck out of his wallet. Hey, kids, go to Disneyland. Top five tries. When we come back, we'll look at the best hits very best hits. And we'll start with number five, Radike Samo. Yeah, Radike just reads this correctly. He sees the winger coming in from the blind side and big guy picking on the little guy. Yeah, 6'6", 260 against 5'11", 205. And the Wallabies, by the way, 147 tackles to 53. Number four, it's Todd Clever of the United States. Well, Clever was all over the place. Great tackle there. He just reads it well. Gets Tommy Bow. On his back, great tackle. On the dimensions, Clever 6'4", 215, Bo 6'3", 200. Number three, Juan Manuel Laguizi Mo. And <laughs> hey, one of them, one of these hits for a ball carrier instead of a defender. Bam! Thanks for coming. The escaping Q-tip. Moving to number two, and by the way, this is the one I had as number one, Fabio Ungaro. Klyuchnikov, the fullback from Russia, ball off the head, ducks down, never sees it coming, and Angaro just unloads. Unfortunately for uh, Igor, I think he's still missing a couple consonants there. And controversially, this is number one by our staff. It's Paul Williams. I'm not sure there's an attempt to wrap there, but it doesn't matter because that is a Namibian who won't forget or maybe will forget that game. Yep. Paul Williams, uh, born in Auckland, delivering there.